Thank you. All right, <clears throat> one more person I need to introduce, and that would be the gentleman who created this whole thing, Mr. Paul O'Neill. Now, as some of you may know, we lost Paul tragically almost six years ago. And uh, the thing about missing somebody, in my opinion, everybody in this building misses somebody. For me, I would rather miss them than to never have had them in my life. You know what I mean? Every day, every second, everything you see, you know, is a reminder. It's almost like when you find an old letter or a postcard, this day and age, a text and email, and you read it back from that person that you miss, and you can hear their voice reading it back to you. I'm kind of extra lucky, as we all are, because Paul left volumes and volumes of lyrics and poetry that are always led us inside his mind and his heart. And every time I read one of his lyrics, I hear his voice reading it back to me. Some of the lyrics were fiction. Some of them were social overviews, historical lessons, exercises in redemption, resilience, hope for a better tomorrow, all these things. He almost had a blueprint to help navigate through troubling times. And boy, can we all use that right now. <laughs> and you say to me, clear as day, I can hear his voice. Sometimes the answer is staring right in front of you, but that's not what you say. That's what this song is. Listen close.
Oh, 